So now I'll tell you how to calculate early start, early finish and late start and late finish for any given project network diagram. To calculate early start and early finish, you must know the duration of each activity. Here you can see from the question I have written all the duration. So to calculate early start and early finish, after calculating, I'm going to write here like on the top left corner, I will be writing early start and top right, I will be writing early finish for each of the activity like here, early start and early finish. Let's say that this activity is going to start on day one. Now, activity A is going to take only one day to complete. So it will start on one and it will end on one itself because it's taking just one day to complete. Now, after A, after completion of activity A, we have two activities B and D. So when B activity will start, once the A will be completed. So activity A is getting completed on day one. So after completion of activity A, activity B will start. So it means that it will start on day two. Now this activity is taking four days to complete. So let's say two, three, four, five. So this is going to complete on day five. Now you can see a formula here. What we are doing that to calculate the early start, we are seeing the early finish of the previous activity. Previous activity. And we are adding one to that. Similarly, to calculate the early finish, what we are doing, that we are checking the early start of that activity. And then we are checking the duration of that activity. Then we are subtracting minus one. Like early start of activity is, activity B is two, duration is four, then two plus four is six, minus one. Five. So it's two, three, four, five. It's taking four days to complete. So just like this, we will complete for all these activities. So now for activity D, early start will be again two, early finish will be three. For this, it will be six, 11, four, six. Now you have to be very careful while you are going to calculate the early start and early finish for the activity F. So activity F is connected with this activity C and activity E. Activity C is getting finished on 11th and activity E is getting finished on 6th. So which number you are going to take for activity F when the activity F should start? So while you are doing the forward pass, you are calculating the early start and early finish, you have to always take the larger number. Here the 11 is the greater number. So now we will follow this and we will discard this one. So F is going to start on 12th and then 12 plus 5, 17 and minus 1, 16. Then for G, 17, 23, 17, 19, here again for the I, we will take the 23, so 24 and 25, right? So this is how we calculate the early start and early finish for any given project network diagram. Now let's calculate the late start and late finish for each of these activities. So what I'm going to do that bottom left corner will be left late start and bottom right will be late finish for each of the activity. So now this time we are going to move backward. So it's called as a backward pass. So late finish activity I is getting completed on 25. So that will be as it is. Now late start will be 25 
minus duration plus 1. So I'll write the formula here for calculating late start. You must know the late finish minus duration plus 1. And to calculate the late finish, it will be just, let's say I have to calculate the late finish for this activity H. So it will be the late start of the previous activity. minus 1. So now 25 minus 2 plus 1 24. For this late finish of activity H. So previous activity has the late start of 24. 24 minus 1 23. 23 minus 3 plus 1 21. So just like this, you have to do it for each of the activity. Now here you have to be very careful again when you are going to calculate it for F. So as you can see that there are two late start, 21 and 17. So which one we are going to take for the activity F? So while moving backward, you have to always take the smallest number. Okay. So here 17 and 21, 17 is the smallest, so we will take this. So it will be 16, 12, then same 11, 6, 11, 9, 8 and 7, here 5 and 2. Again you can see we have this 2 and 7, so we will take 2. 1 and 1. So this is how we calculate the early start, early finish and late start, late finish. I hope that this is clear to you.